Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 46 of our Darkness Falls playthrough here and... What's up, girl? You got a guest waiting for us outside the gate. Make her do a quick little backflip and blow her arm off and we're good to go. Okay, so an executive decision has been made and by that I mean I made a decision and you guys are just going to have to deal with it. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. I'm... think I'm going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay, I am heading home. I went back and forth last night, or today, or since I did the last recording. Anyway, I went back and forth quite a few times in my head trying to figure out if I wanted to go over and do that very big villa-looking building that we went and looked at at the end of the last video. And I thought, you're like, you know, it might be kind of cool. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's just one of those tanker places. I thought it might be kind of cool, maybe some good loot. You never know uh, what we could find over there. And so what I was planning on doing today was initially I was like, you know what? I'm going to throw down a chest and throw it down a sleeping bag. Or we're going to go over and see what kind of fun loot we can find inside that building. Maybe we'll find something kind of cool. Then I decided, you know what? Let's fire up the old gray matter, gray matter a little bit here. And yes, I am driving around lost trying to get through suburbia hell here. Anyway, I fired up the gray matter and I did a little bit of research into what that POI is and it's pretty much nothing. Ooh, a cracker book. Okay, that's what we're doing now. Anyway, it's pretty much nothing. There's, I mean, it's a really big location. There's, it's a big POI, but in terms of what all's inside of it, there's not much. There's like a bunch of zombies and oh, I'm taking all of that because why not? I'm not encumbered or anything. And there's a bunch of zombies and that's about it. There's no main loot in there. There's not like you get to a major loot room and then ta-da, you're all of a sudden chonky of loots and stuff. So, I was... What's up, Brittany? Come on out. Here, I'll help you out. Oops, sorry. Actually, you're kind of helping me in. Hit you right in the butt talks. So anyway... Like I said, initially I thought it might be kind of fun to go over there and get some loot, and then we, be, you know, might be kind of a good place to get some loot. But like I said, doing a little bit of research, I found out no, there's really not that much loot in there at all. And to go through and just wait a waste a stupid amount of ammo and possibly not get any loot at all, I didn't figure it would actually be worth it. So decided we're going to head home first, but I didn't know this cracker book was here, so we're going to check inside and see what we can get from there. And this new bow, it's, pr it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Can I have my arrow back? No, nah, probably not. Did you make me some coffee? Ah, so close. You were so close. You're at least in the right direction. So, I want to get a couple books from here. This is one of the teeny tiny little cracker books, and then we're going to start heading our way back home. We are still fully chunky. I kind of went back and forth while I'm looting this, kind of talk to you guys. I went back and forth on whether or not I should switch over and start using the coil weapons as my primary. And I decided probably not as my primary. They are they are pretty powerful, and I got quite a bit of ammo for them. But in terms of how they're compared to the normal weapons, there's not that much of a big difference. Most of everything that you get as far as a difference is the fact that they stop demons from respawning, uh, demon health from respawning. That's, that's pretty much it. Yes, it's still great to have, and I'm glad to have them, and we're definitely going to need them here in the near future, I'm sure. But using it as just my primary right the... Right the right the moment, I don't necessarily think is absolutely required. I didn't see her up here or I would have switched to a weapon. Knocked her out of the park. There's no books in this crack a book. Somebody's already been here and stole my books. Did I at least get the bag? I did kind of search it. Okay. Well, it's a good thing uh, we decided to stop by here. Did I... Did, did, uh, wait a minute, hold on. This might just be the back door, but we'll see if we can get in the back door anyway. Yep, that's that. That's pretty fantastic. That's absolutely wonderful. Okay, yeah. So there's nothing good up in here that we can take, or nothing really. Okay, let me rephrase that. We got a few extra notes here. We're going home with an extra twenty-eight. I do not remember how many we needed before we got here in terms of, you know, to be able to get to the next mastery book, or to be able to get to the first mastery book. We don't have one to get to. We're fully chunky. We got a little bit of a drive to get home. We got a whole lot of loot on there, so we got to make sure we don't die. We're currently freezing and wet for some reason. I don't necessarily know why. Is this a ramp? Nope, 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 nope. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. Nailed it. You know what? I'm going to try. This is going to be outrageous. I know. Well, I'm going to try to follow the road a little bit. I know. That kind of seems like, What? Camp following the road? We haven't done that yet. We're usually just hauling a straight across the wilderness and hoping we don't run into anything. What's up, kitty? Oh, hell, I didn't actually mean to run into you. He took a step. 
I, I I apologize, Kitty. I didn't mean to kill you, and you kind of dinged up my bike a little bit. That's just kind of okay. That one was kind of my fault too. <laughs> what is this place? Oh, it's a little power substation. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, we hit less things driving out through the wild because then all I had to do was just dodge trees and rocks. Here we got cars and zombies and baskets and random crap laying in the road. But maybe, just maybe, if we stay on the road, we can get around this mountain just a little bit faster. this little random podunk town if you've ever driven well i know i'm gonna say probably the vast majority of the people watching this channel have never driven through the middle of nowhere america or middle of texas basically there's rest stops like this along the road in teeny tiny little towns we call them a one stoplight town because this is pretty much it you're driving down the highway you come into town all of a sudden you're going from 70 to 50 and then 45 and then 30 and then there's like one little intersection there you have to stop at every single time it's just a requirement and then when you do you speed back up and get and by the time you leave the town you realize there's absolutely nothing here kind of wanted to just see i think this looks just like a regular rest stop i just kind of wanted to see if that's what it was a lupus rest area okay a lupus rest area huh well okie dokie let's stick our head in here hello uh no hey guess what I missed. Didn't miss that time, did you? Stay down, big boy. Can I crawl through here? I can. Is there anybody in here with you? Anybody in here dropping one off? Oh, there's the way access to the roof. Sweet. Might as well see if there's anything up here. Uh, seems like there's a way to get over here. Is there? Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was trying to do. We're a little heavy. You know, we're only carrying like an entire department store worth of stuff. Kind of, not really. There's a backpack, and we'll go ahead and take it. Oh, nice. Our boy in the box. I don't have any of those on me. Sure, why not? Yep, I... Oh, good. that's a good way to break something. I hear a snake, too. Okay, we're hitting the open road again. I hear a whole lot of footsteps. I don't know if we have a horde showing up over here, or it's just Big Mama's inside. I don't know. She's all kinds of excited, all hot and bothered to see us. We're going to keep following this road for just a little bit and see if it... Act I'm hoping it winds back around and heads over there. I would like to think that there's a road that goes from north to south that I can get from my area to this little northern area, and I've just been doing it the unnecessarily hard way for a little while. Wait, what are we coming up on here? Is there... This is the other trader. Oh, okay. All right. So, so far, so good. Tell you what. How about this? How about this? Slow down. Whoa, camel. Okay. So, it's been a minute since we've been in here, and this is one of those traders that there's not a lot in here. Man, we're chunky. <laughs> I am running full speed and dragging booty here. Hey, have you re... You have. <laughs> oh, it's Piper. It better have a whole lot better stuff than that as I finish looting this place. Okay. Well, in terms of things that's up here, not really. All right. Tell you what. Do you have anything that I could buy? I've got money. You've got things. Let's see if we can make a deal here. It, first and first, do you have a book I could borrow? Nothing good there. No tools that I need. And any food? No, no food. Sciencey stuff? Hey, a portable lathe. I've only got four, five of those at the house. You don't have anything. Um... I don't even know what I could possibly sell you here. You want a, just a regular pistol? You know what? I'm going to hang on to that. That's thanks my pistol. Anyways. Yeah, thanks to you as well. I, I, I will. I am going to go downstairs and finish robbing you. I need the coal. And we'll get the last couple books that you have down here. See if there's anything good. An auto shoddy schematic. Crap. Okay, I got to read that. I got to actually read that here because I have an auto shoddy that we found, but I couldn't make one. So if I needed to repair it, I'd have to just fire up a repair kit and that'd be pretty much it. Now I'm not even going to bother. I'll leave that behind for him. He can have the bowl of murky water and I'll take the rest of that stuff. That's all I was really going to stop here for to see if he had anything worth buying. Where's my, oh, there's my bike. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to do a full loot on his because I'm not sure if you can tell, but we're a little chunky. I just need to get home. That's that's the goal, is to get home with all of this lovely stuff. But 
Do we have a little bit of uh, maybe some ADD in this game, whatever? It's like, oh, we're going here. We're going to make a straight line here. And then a few minutes later, it's like, well, I don't even remember where we're going. We've made a couple detours since then. Yeah. Yeah, we do. But you know what? It's it's fun. <laughs> I I like not knowing where I'm going for the day. We're going to get the death wobble here. But let's continue on, shall we? You didn't see anything. We didn't, we didn't just run straight through a guard well. This thing corners like a snake in a rat hole. We are at least back home. I can see the rocket launch spot over there. We're coasting in on fumes. I mean, I've got plenty of gas. Good God, we're going fast. <laughs> this is this is just unnecessarily fast at this point, especially in town. It's definitely great. I'm loving having this extra speed when we're out in the middle of nowhere and we're just trying to dodge trees. But as we get close to civilization and I'm trying to dodge all these tiny little undulations that I tend to run into on a regular basis, having this extra speed does isn't very good. This thing, like I said, corners like it doesn't corner. It's like turns like a chuck wagon with square wheels. It does not turn very good. <laughs> Especially at high speeds. It's like you start making a turn and the game's like, nah, you're going to keep going in this direction for a little while. I hope you're okay with that. I mean, at least we made it back home. Uh, let's see. what I. That's all the... Really? That's... Holy hell. Uh, I thought I had a whole lot more gas than that. What did I do with all the gas? God, we... Okay, we barely made it home. I... Uh, I, may, I took a stack of gas with me up there, and maybe, just maybe, I thought I had a hell of a lot more than I actually do. <laughs> well, thank you, game. I appreciate you allowing me to at least make it back home. That's kind of you. All right, well, we got a whole bunch of stuff to drop off here. You know, I forgot before I even left the house, I made me some coffee here. And so, you know, it's always looking it was like, oh, did you make me some coffee? It's like, well, you could have made your own, but you kind of didn't here. So I, I need to make some more red tea. My stash is getting a little bit low. We got everything else dropped off, though. Uh, let me see. Where am I at in terms of notes here? So I've got 579. I need 21 more to be able to get to 600. Okay, so let me make sure math is right. my math is right here. Okay, so in order to make a blank glass paper, you'd have 120. And then to be able to make like a survivalist master is 480. So 120 and 480 is 600. We're almost there. 21 more notes and we'll have it, baby. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm excited about that. Okay, water's good, food's good, health and everything else is good. We're good. We're good. Did I have anything else going to sell? Like you and you and you, and that's about it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what I'm going to do today, we've got a couple days left before things go terrible and we have to start dealing with the Horde Knight again. I'm not going to deal with that anytime soon. I'm not in the mood. Uh, yeah, you're a little bit low on gas. You're a little bit low on gas. How, how are you on gas? You're a little... Why are all my vehicles so low on gas? Which one of y'all keep siphoning my gas? I, I really want to know. It's a good thing I made a whole bunch of gas. Or at least I think I made a bunch of gas. Oh, yeah. We're good. You know what? Let me take all of you real quick. So what I'm going to do today, because I need to see if I can earn a little bit more notes, basically, is I'm going to... Let me refuel you real quick. Oh, you're good. It took a couple dings. I'm going to do a little bit of work for the trader dude. Um, see if I can get him up to one more tier. Right at the moment, he's a tier two. So if I get a couple more jobs done, maybe, just maybe he'll be a tier three pretty soon and we can start getting some better jobs. If we start going to do some like tier three loot, uh, looting quests and things like that, wee! Don't hit the tree. Don't hit it. You hit the tree. Great. Now we're going to have to repair our vehicle gun. Anyway, uh, we can start getting a lot more stuff from him. And I do need to put a lot more... I need to put some skill points. I need a bunch of skill points, honestly. Into, like, um, better bartering and things so that we can get, you know, better bartering. It's been a while since I checked that. Apparently his aren't ever going to restock. Sup, dude? Uh, let me see. You just reset hello, too, didn't traveler. you? Yeah, hello to you too. Do you have any recipes? No, nothing I don't already have. Let's see. You reset since we were here last, I believe. Let me do a quick check just to make sure you don't have anything I have to have. They saying you. You do not. Okay, no big deal. 
Let's see. We have a fetch and clear this east, east, southwest. That one's probably going to be real close to where we are. I really don't. Some people have asked me why I don't do a fetch and clear uh, these infested clears. Mostly just because it's a big ammo dump here. Can you see? Help me with my Camp problem. Carlson. Godspeed. And Godspeed to you too. Okay, so if this is that one place that we've been to a dozen times. Actually, I don't think we've been to this one at all. We can go to do this one. Am I good on ammo? Ammo, ammo, ammo. All of you are ammo. We got arrows. I have no first aid on me. Hang on. I forgot to sell a couple things to you. Hey, buy this from you, okay? There we go. 27,000 monies. Thank you, too. We are a long ways away. Long. Where's where's my bike? I, I don't know why. We're 46 days in it, and I still walk out the wrong door half the time. Don't know which direction I'm facing. Uh, let me double check make sure I have first aid here. I think I do. I don't. You know what we could probably do? Pro probably a good idea. I'm just saying here. Let's uh, let's do this. I'm going to put you in there just because you'll definitely... I'm definitely going to need you here. We're really, really close and we drive really fast so it won't take us very long. How about we run home and grab just a little bit of first aid? I thought I put some in the bike, but maybe I emptied it out and obviously forgot about it. I would still like to know what happened to all the gas that I had in there. I mean, I'm, I filled up before we left, and I filled up when I got there, and then I filled up before we left when we got here. I mean, was that all the gas that I had? I mean, did I really go through all of it? Excuse me. Shoot, I almost ran over her. Accidentally ended up damaging my bike again because I ran into the local riffraff. Hang on, are you going to follow me? Kind of sounds like you are. Where you is? What's up, girl? <laughs> Oh, dude, we split her like a melon. We split her head like a melon. Let's use proper words here, Cap. That just sounds wrong if you don't. Should be good. We're not We're not going to be too far from the house. So worst case scenario, we have to, you know, limp basically through the mission. Where did I... Oh, duh. All right, and for you, I'm going to put the rest of the gas in here so I know where you are. All right, let's go see if we can do... This is going to be our first infested clear. Oh, we cleared the rock. Infested clear in this particular playthrough. I did, you know, like when they first added them in Alpha 21, I did a video where I went and did a level 5 infested clear in the wasteland, which is the hardest POI you can do. I didn't even bother looting it because it was just, it was a challenge to get through. It, it's basically just an ammo dump is what these are. That's the main reason why I don't do some missions is more or less just because, is it a challenge? Yes, to the extent that there's a lot of zombies and a lot of hard zombies. Man, this thing climbs like a mule. Love it. Um, but it's mostly just, you just go through a lot of ammo. That's basically the main reason why I don't do them too terribly often. But we got to do them every once in a while. You do get a little bit more experience, a little bit more of a reward for doing the harder quest or at least i'm telling myself that whether it's true or not i don't necessarily know but it's okay this is a tier two so it's not very big and that is what she said all right let's make sure everything's reloaded just in case we get in there and things go get a little bit hairy which this is a little bitty little bitty hang on let's let's see if we can see through the fence maybe we can see a couple Either that or, here's my thinking, that there's a big underground part of this too. That would probably be the, the more logical thing. Or, when I click on that, boom, everything in the world spawns in and we're good. Okay, you're reloaded, you're reloaded. Let's see Let's see if we can't do a little bit of Sneaky Pete and see if we can't maybe get rid of some of these idiots before they wake up. Hey, dude. Nope, not so much for that one. Yep, so much for that one too. Okay. Get a couple headshots in there, save a little bit on ammo. What you doing, Cole? You can go ahead and stay down. Uh, see, Bruce is wandering over here. I'm going to check the loot bag real quick, see if they got anything good. Oh, nice, another nail gun. I've only got like six of those. I'll take it. Oh, hey, Walt, what's up? No. Down he went. And boom. Down he went. These guns are so powerful, they don't even knock them backwards. It's just straight through. It's through and through all the way. All right, so there's another corpse there. There has to be an underground to this. There's no way that it's just this tiny little area. Eh. Okay, well, tell you what. This is probably going to not do anything but piss him off. Oh, a demonic. Holy crap, okay. 
Hey, remember what I was saying about not needing the coil weapons? I could use... Uh-oh. Nope, that didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Get back on top of the fence. Keep a little distance between you and the idiots. There we go. Okay, now we're safe. Fish. Well, there's our first demon. Now I kind of wish I'd brought my coil weapons with me. But, you know, that would be, probably wouldn't have been a smart idea. But, you know what? We're not necessarily known for making good decisions. <laughs> although, although, to be fair, I'm still alive. What you doing? Peek your head through the ceiling. You can't do it that way. Uh-uh. Nope. Tell you what, hang on. Y'all need to go... Can I make it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Y'all come over here. I'm going to lead you this direction a little bit. Okay, that's not too bad. There's there's one demonic, one meanie. None of you idiots can climb, apparently. It's okay. I can't shoot, so... Auto shotty for the win. All right, so it looks like there's one more hard guy. Now, if there's an under... That did not sound right at all, and I apologize. There's one more big meanie. If there's any more, they have to be in some sort of underground, or... Hang on. Is there anybody in there? Let's scooch around this way. This is this is the definition of how I put, you know, work smarter, not harder sort of thing. Uh, uh, dang it. I didn't mean to fall off there. Look, I'm trying to do this the smart way, and I keep doing dumb things. Yep, kind of now that we're, uh, let's just out of curiosity, where are we at in terms of our loot stage? Because I'm curious. Loot stage is at 224. Okay. All right. Now our game stage is at, holy crap, 322? That's gone up a bit. That's gone up a little bit since the last time we looked. Okay, so she's irradiated. He's not. He might just be a feral. I can't get a headshot on him, but I have an idea. Haha. -ha. Um he might be a demon too. At this let, let's shoot her. Shh. Yep, he is a demon. Back demon. Hey, there's a perfectly good door right there, you big idiot. You're tearing up her tent. What kind of house guest are you? You don't just beat the hell out of the house that you're in. Come on, man. Did your mom teach you any manners? Stay down. Stay down. Actually, you probably should go down before I try and get you to stay down. Uh-oh. Hang on, you got the click. These things regain... Let's just go full auto for a second. These things gain a lot of health back real fast. There's got... Yeah, there's one more up there. So we've encountered our second demon. Cool, cool, cool. Ain't no thing. We got this. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Hey, who's up there that uh, needs to get shotted? Okay, well, let's bait them a little bit. Ready? Wee. Hello? You know this is going to be something terrible. Oh, crap. Whoopsie daisy. Haha, oh, did y'all see that? That's some parkour skill right there. There's a lot of zombies in the top of that tiny little place. Y'all having all kinds of a party up there, huh? Big mama, don't do it, ma'am. Don't you dare do it. Where's the one that's puking at me? Oh! Radiated hungry, big mamma jamma. He's down. Who's that? Stop moving. I keep missing. Hang on. Come here. Come here. There we go. Now we got a good shot. Shoot you right in the back. It's kind of rude, but you got to do what you got to do. Uh oh. All right. Well, come on down. You're almost dead. And Dunskies. I know they dropped another bag up there, too. Ew. Gross. Tell you what, I'll have a celebratory beer. Thank you very much. And now I need to get back up there so I can get my loot bag. What did Big Mama bring for us? A bone and some water. Well, you know what? I can use that water to turn it into coffee, so it's not that big a deal. Ooh, nice. Loots. Come on, good loots. It's not bad stuff. Okay, it's not great, but it's not bad stuff. I mean, that's a steel club compared to our titanium bat. This is not nearly as good, but it's still ours. Uh, let me see. Infested cash and a shotgun size shipping crate. We'll go ahead and... Boomskies. We got our first demons, though. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of excited about that. Kind of not. Ammo. 
you know, I'm okay with that. We just used some ammo, so to uh, be able to restock that is a good idea. Sweet! That went pretty well. I guess we'll go through and see what other kind of crap you have in here. Regular shirt. I'm just going to scrap you down. Okay. Whoa, calm down. Let's see what kind of loot they had up in this little party place. Well, they didn't really have that much loot. I'm going to go ahead and grab the cement that they have here just because I need it to be able to, you know, make concrete with. There was a can of salmon. We got a beaker, some shale, some nitrates. Nothing that's like, woohoo, great level of loot. But it's my loot, and I'm okay with it. Let's see. We got everything that was here. We got everything over there. Quit it. A little bit of iron from that. Cool. All right. Well, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I'd say we did that pretty good. We didn't take a single point of damage from that because we played it smart and climbed up on top of the fence the whole time. Cowardice? No. It's called being brave, not stupid. There's a reason why I have a t-shirt that says that. I'm brave, not stupid. I will jump into the middle of a fight, but I'm also going to make sure I have the advantage in that fight. I'm not just going to run in blind and hope to God that I come out on top and, you know, just to try and prove my manliness. <laughs> Whoa, that was a big lag spike. That was a big lag spike indeed. I didn't have any control of the bike whatsoever. We just cast or careen through the air. That's the right C word. Run right into this. What's up? No, 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 and no. I mean, I'm also break mods pretty decent for a shotgun, but I have one on. No, I have a shotgun choke mod. Muzzle break mod. I mean, I don't think I can even put one on here. I'm kind of like maxed out on. I don't know. I mean,. This I'll eat. This is crap. This I don't need. I have plenty of. This I would just sell right back to him. I might as well just take the muzzle brake mod because of worst case scenario. Wait, did I get anything that I could sell you? Hey, you want a club? It's not worth a whole lot, but I'll sell you to you. And I'll tell you an, a bunker buster mod because I have a few of those already as well. And a couple of these. Yeah, just sell you a couple things. I don't really need them. Y'all come back now. Yeah, here. All right. What are the kind of jobs you have? Fetch, 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 and which one's the closest one? This one is the Shady Swine. I've got just the, the Shady right Swine. That's easy. That's going to that's going to be in town, or at least close to town. The Shady Swine. Have we done the Shady Swine? This looks like the uh, farm area up here, but I don't know if we've done it or not. If we've just been up there, I really need to like put a marker on each POI that I've done with a big freaking X on it so I can remember. But I probably won't do that just because I'll forget to do that just as much as I forget which POIs I've already been in. We got time. We got ammo. We got, we're good on stats. Can I make it? Might as well go over and do this. Our dirt bike. Could, do I have a repair kit on me? <laughs> Let's see if we can. We're at 20%. Let's see if we can get over to this place without killing our bike. All right. We made it and we didn't run into anything. Look at that. Maybe we're improving. I still want to do this building over here, but I don't know how good of a building it is. So it's going to be one of those we're just going to have to try it out. I don't know. I mean, I recognize this POI. That's hops, right? Yeah, I'm not making... Oh, hey, what's up, Pagers? I forgot the... Ow! Dude, we just double killed a pig. What's up, Frank? You coming over to say something to us? I don't know if I got him in one shot or not. I think I did. Dude, we are... Don't say words, Cap. Do not say words. We didn't even activate the point yet, so as soon as I click on this, the pigs are going to respawn in this little building right here. Aren't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've. if we haven't done this POI here, we've done it before. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and eat you. I don't get any kind of penalty from that. I'll leave the other stuff behind. Let me activate this so that the piggies can reload. Did you reload, pigs? You did. I see you sitting there. Okay. We're going to do a little hunting here. Gotcha. What's up, piggy pig? Piggy pig, I need your meats. And I'll go ahead and take your pile of food that you have here. Ooh, some blueberry jam. I can make some peanut butter and jelly. I love peanut butter and jelly. In real life. What's up, Tom? Dude just straight up pooped out a bag. What's going on over here? Sylvia! Money. Hey, you. Come here. Come, hold on. I go, oh, careful. There we go. Get a little bit close to that. Uh, 
nice. She brought a bag too. Okay, so y'all are bringing me bags, but you're not really bringing anything good. So if you could up it just a little bit. You know, Tom at least had a little bit of money in there. He's kind of being considerate. I mean, you brought me some herbal antibiotics, which you're a nurse. That kind of makes sense. All right, so this is a fetch and a clear. So we need to make sure we do both. Uh, I'll scrap you for the cloth. <laughs> I'm not going to lockpick that one. I can just do that. Hey, you. Just a little closer. Uh oh come on out you're the next contestant on getting shot in the nuts nice did you bring me anything fun arrows and a baseball hat you know what that's appropriate you look like you should be wearing a baseball hat you don't currently have one but you look like you could uh, oh, I see Carl. What's up, Carl? Oh, God, you're a big beefer. Hey. Quit it. That's, that's big Carl. See, I want to take a T. I want to take this bong TV back to my house and fire it up. Play some old Nintendo 64 games. Hang on. Hey. You. Okay, well, he's inside. All right, I guess we'll get to him when we get to him. Um, wait a second. Hang on. Which direction? Oh, yeah, I got to go through the banyo. It's been a minute since I've been here. All right, so this is a fetch and clear. The clear, or the fetch part's downstairs. Hang on. I'm pretty sure there's somebody in there. Yep. Hang on. Dang it. I was trying to... I. I was trying to do something. You made me rush, and I missed the whole... Whoa, hey, what's up, Al? Sorry. I... Dude, punched me. I'm sorry, lady. I know I shot you while you're taking a little nap. I, apolo I don't apologize. I'm not apologizing for anything. Some. Hey, look at that. She had some money on her. She didn't bring my arrow back, though. Sneak shot with a shotgun, because that makes sense. Back up, Lisa, you teeny tiny little creeper. Hey, girl. Oh, hell, I thought you were dead. Now you're dead. All right, what kind of books you got in here for me? Uh, good. Okay, I need to scrap you and scrap you and scrap you. That's not 21. We're getting close, but that's not the 21 I need. Don't need some bison. Did you? You don't even have a coffee pot to have made me any coffee. Rude. Sure, I'll take your pipes, though. I'll leave your nasty meats behind. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Boo! Oh, what's up, dude? Get off my porch! Now, if y'all could, you know, not accidentally call in a horde, that'd just be ducky. Alright, let's run down here, wake everybody up. The thingy we need to get in... Wait, is it in... Oh, it's on this level. Okay, um... Where? Hang on, hang on, where... Is there... Hang on, is there something over in this? Oh, yeah, we, uh, sh sure, let's see if we can lockpick this garage door. That's how that works. Okay, well, let's, uh, shotgun it up here, because I'm sure there's, if I'm having to do this, is going to be fun. Oh, I remember this barn. I ran a horde night in here once, just to see if I could. Boom's case. This is part of the clear and stuff that we have in here too. Okay, so the thingy we need to get is right up there. Nice. So we can grab the rest of the stuff that we want to over here. I think this gives me nitrate. Come on, a bunch of books. Nice. Scrap you. Scrap you. Ah, uh, you scrap, scrap, and scrap. I need the notes. I, I definitely need to read those, but it's definitely skills that I can get from just doing the things. You know what I mean? Come on, good stuff. Uh, scrap you, that stuff and things. That's not bad. Okay, I'll take that. That's, that's cool. I'll take it. Meat and a bag of dried fruit. You know what? I'll eat the bag. I'll eat the bag of dried fruit. Let's go ahead and grab the thingy that we need to get real quick. We haven't finished the clear. and We still gotta go kill some zombies in the basement, but at least we got that. So we can just run in all loud and proud now. Open up. There we go. That's the hardest pick I've had to do in a little while. Hardest lock I've had to pick? I think those are the correct words, just not in the right order. 
We clear for a second? All right, everybody wake up or spawn in just randomly. And cleared. What you got for us? Just a Winchester, some ammo, and some dog food. Okay. Ain't no thing. We're going to leave all the rest of this alone. We're going to get in our bicicleta and motor pedal our bike all the way back over to the trader and see what kind of fun stuff we can get. Crappy boots. Yeah, he went that way, Kyle. Just keep on looking that direction. You'll be fine. Where is our... The hell did I park my bike? <laughs> Keep losing this thing. If it wasn't for the little icon on there, I would totally just wander around lost and have no idea which direction I'm going most of the time. Whoa, calm down. Yeah, we definitely have enough time, especially with this bike. It's basically a time machine at this point. We can come over here and go turn in our quest. Oh, we almost hit the base. We almost did it. All right, I need you to give me something. Actually, what I really want out of you, I don't care what loot you have. I mean, it'd be great for something good. I need you to up to the next level. That would be great. No, 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 no. And I guess the generic schematics about all that I really need. Anything else? Please? Dang you. Dang you, dang you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, we've got to be getting close to being done with this particular tier two quest level with him. But we did our first infested. We got to see our first two demons. So to me, what that means is that come the next Horde night, I am definitely going to need my coil rounds because demons are going to be there. We're in the 300s on the game stage now. Now, I don't know if we start getting roaming demon hordes at two or 300. I can't remember. I looked at the XML file, but now I don't remember. Couldn't tell you. But I do know one thing is that it's definitely making me want to be a hell of a lot quieter at night. Because we're getting a bunch of roaming hordes wandering around. And I definitely don't want any of those idiots showing up over here. I want to accidentally cancel reload. We need to restock on that. Cool. Well, this was a successful day. I don't. We didn't get near as good of the loot as we did in some of the other days that we've been playing. But we got some good stuff. So anyway, we're going to wrap this one up here. We'll be back tomorrow with another one, of course. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. Of course, click the little bell so you get notified when videos go live. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.